So Ben Durker asked AII on Twitter, are solar roadways feasible? And do you foresee a solar revolution coming in the U.S.? Those are both great questions, Ben, and thank you for sending them in. Uh, I like the idea a lot, and while solar roadways seem like an exciting prospect, they're not yet feasible. Scott and Julie Bursaw, founders of a company called Solar Roadways, first introduced the concept of solar powered roadways for smart roads in 2006. The company proposed the idea of replacing the nation's current asphalt and concrete roadway system with solar powered glass encased cells capable of withstanding traditional traffic and recharging itself and electric cars while also displaying real-time traffic updates with microprocessor technology and LED lighting. In 2009 the company actually built a 12 by 12 foot prototype. While the model didn't contain solar powered cells, it did successfully test the proposed electronic components. Ultimately though, the United States Department of Transportation, the DOT, identified multiple issues with the prototype design, including the durability of the road when it comes to weight and speed demands of vehicles, and the ability of materials and equipment needed to construct a solar-powered road. Because of these concerns, the DOT was not able to validate the safety of driving on glass-textured solar-powered roads. But despite this setback, the overall ability of solar-powered energy is quickly increasing and has gradually become a high-demand commodity. The main factors contributing to the success of solar energy include rapidly decreasing prices of solar panels, and improved energy storage technologies. These and other factors increase accessibility to solar energy and control how the energy is used. The International Energy Agency predicts that the world will produce approximately 662 gigawatts of solar energy by 2035, which will cost about $1.3 trillion in investments. For comparison purposes, a gigawatt can power between 750,000 and 1 million homes here in the U.S. Thank you for submitting your question, Ben. And if you have a question you think we can answer, please tweet us at AIIWire. I'll see you next time.